Our families were so close, especially my brother and Charlie, explained the German woman who took me aside after my performance of Maximilian, Saint of Auschwitz, to tell me her story still fresh after 70 years. A crowd gathered around her, listening attentively as she continued. Charlie's family lived next door to hers, and the two boys walked to school together every day. One day the Nazis came, and her family watched in horror as their dear Jewish friends and neighbors were dragged away. They were taken immediately to the concentration camp where Charlie, just 13 years old, was immediately sent to the gas chamber and killed. We were all silent as we recognized the evil to which mankind can descend. What a counterbalance is the life and martyrdom of St. Maximilian Kolbe. Only through faith in the ever-present love of God and of his Immaculate Mother could he have the courage to say, we should even thank our executioners and show our thanks from heaven by obtaining from the Immaculate One the grace of their conversion. In short, we are invincible. We need that kind of faith right now. We in the United States of America in 2012 face threats to our freedom of religion that can only be answered by a courageous profession of faith. Pope Benedict sees this. He's declared a year of faith because it is only through faith that we will see a transformation in our culture. We're answering the call to proclaim the faith here at St. Luke Productions. God is taking your prayers, your contributions, and the enthusiastic energy of our team of young professionals who are real missionaries and producing new works that can truly evangelize the culture. Here's a snapshot of what's happening here right now and what we envision in the future. We're expanding our outreach by casting new actors and actresses in our current productions. We're creating new live dramas that will focus on women saints and heroines. We're broadening our audience to include all Christian denominations, other faiths, and the vast secular public through performances in professional theaters. We're equipping and expanding our current studio and editing suites to be prepared for the growing demand of serving not only our ministry, but those of others. We're evangelizing diverse age groups who access entertainment very differently. We're reaching out especially to the young, internet-savvy audience and to the elderly and homebound who rely on television for companionship. We're positioning St. Luke Productions for another feature film, building on the knowledge and grassroots support we gained from Therese, the movie. Do not be afraid, Jesus tells us. Let us set out together joyfully into the world to spread the good news. Pray for us, and please send whatever you can to fund these exciting projects. There's enormous potential in today's immense media outreach. Let's harness that power, theater, film, radio, internet, smartphones, for the kingdom of God. Stand courageous, defend the faith, and fearlessly proclaim the truth of Jesus Christ in the public square. I couldn't have done any of these projects without you, so I thank you for your trust from the bottom of my heart. God can do everything. We just need to surrender and be obedient to Him. God bless you.